Hi there boys and girls. I decided to read to you from my front porch again. It is a beautiful day. I hope you're getting some time to be outside. Well, I found a book today. I thought this week we might think a little bit about the zoo. Some of you might have been on a trip to the zoo before or you might have seen something about a zoo on your TVs or in books or on your computer. Um, we used to go to the zoo a lot when my children were younger and it's a fun place. There are a lot of cool animals there. Well, this book is called Inside a Zoo in the City and it's by Alyssa Satin Cappuccilli and it's illustrated by Ted Arnold. So let's see, what all do we see on the cover of this book? Wow, in the background I can see the city. So there's a big city line back there, lots of tall buildings. This looks like it must be the entrance to the zoo. And what animals can we see? Well, this elephant jumps out at me because he's so big and he's right in the middle. There's a monkey riding on his head. Oh, it looks like a parrot. Another monkey, a peacock, a zebra. Oh no, another monkey. There's lots of monkeys. A lion, a tiger, a seal maybe. Now our zoo in Louisville isn't in the middle of the city. There's more trees and stuff around our zoo and not so many tall buildings. Well, let's see what happens in this story. Here is a zoo in the city. Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked outside a zoo in the city. Oh, look, he's in, a, he's in a little bed. He has an alarm clock. <laughs> Looks like his teddy bear fell on the floor. Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger, that growled and stalked outside a zoo in the city. Do you know what stalked means? It me it's a it's a word that's often used to describe an animal when they when they kind of watch for something that they're trying to catch. So look, the parrot's showing the tiger the alarm clock. He's saying it's time to get up. Does the tiger look very happy? <laughs> Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger, that growled and stalked, that woke up the lion starting to roar outside a zoo in the city. Okay, so what's, a, what's, what's happening here? So our parrot's brushing his teeth. <laughs> our tiger looks like he's, he's looking at that lion. The lion's drinking some coffee or hot chocolate and eating some eggs. <laughs> Have you noticed it's starting to repeat a little bit? They keep repeating the first lines over and over. We might be able to guess some of the words on this next page. Let's see. Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger, that growled and stalked, that woke up the lion starting to roar, that woke up the peacock who paraded next door outside a zoo in the city. Okay, so it looks like they're all rushing out of the house. There's the parrot and the lion and the tiger. And now they got the peacock. The peacock's looking at his watch. Looks like they have a bus schedule in their hand. They must be on their way somewhere. Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger that growled and stalked, that woke up the lion starting to roar, that woke up the peacock who paraded next door, that woke up the zebra beginning to bray outside a zoo in the city. So bray is a word for the sounds that a uh, zebra can make. So it looks like they came over to the zebra's house now. He was in bed too. They woke him up. The point there's look, look, there's the bus. 
here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger, that growled and stalked, that woke up the lion starting to roar, that woke up the peacock who paraded next door, that woke up the zebra starting to bray, that woke up the monkeys who chattered away outside a zoo in the city. So yeah, they're repeating words and there's rhyming words too. This is a fun story. Okay, so the monkeys are already waiting at the bus stop. And so the other animals have gotten in the bus near their house. And now it's up. Oh no, the parrot's blowing a whistle. The zebra's saying, come on, let's go. They fell asleep at the bus stop, it looks like. Where do you think they're going? Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger, that growled and stalked, that woke up the lion starting to roar, that woke up the peacock who paraded next door, that woke up the zebra beginning to bray, that woke up the monkeys who chattered away, that woke up the seal that barked and cavorted outside a zoo in the city. <laughs> Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked that woke up the tiger that growled and stalked, that woke up the lion starting to roar, that woke up the peacock who paraded next door, that woke up the zebra beginning to bray, that woke up the monkeys who chattered away, that woke up the seal that barked and cavorted, that woke up the elephant whose huge trunk snorted. Oh, look, there it is snorting. Outside a zoo in the city. Here is the parrot that stretched and squawked, that woke up the tiger that growled and stalked that woke up the lion starting to roar, that woke up the peacock who paraded next door, that woke up the zebra beginning to bray, that woke up the monkeys who chattered away, that woke up the seal that barked and cavorted, that woke up the elephant whose huge trunk snorted, that woke up the zookeeper by jingling her keys. So look, the bus, there's the bus they were all on. It stopped at the zoo. The animals are all getting off and standing there. Who jingled her keys? There's the zookeeper sleeping right at the gate. Who's jingling her keys? That's right, it's the elephant. He reached in with his, his trunk, jingled her keys. She opened the gates and said, come right in, please. So there they all go. <laughs> they look awfully happy, don't they? Oh, so what are they doing in this picture? It looks like they're finding their right spot to go to in the zoo. So the tiger's going in his area. And the lion is going in his area. The peacock is in her area. The seal went in her area. The zebra's in his area. The elephant's in her area. And all the monkeys are in their areas. Oh! <laughs> oh, but now look how tired they are because they got up so early. So they're all sleeping even the monkeys up in the trees and now the zookeepers putting the sign out now open and all the families are coming in the parrot looks a little nervous <laughs> inside a zoo in the city
so she's fussing at the tiger. <laughs> well, isn't that a silly book? So what do you think? Do you think that at nighttime, the animals all pack up and go home for the night? They leave the zoo and go home and then come back the next morning? <laughs> I don't think so either. I think the zoo is their home. That's where they get to stay and that's where their beds are and their food and that's where they get to stay all the time. <laughs> that it was fun to pretend like they got up and rode a bus to get to the zoo in the morning. Well, I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you have some fun and you get to play at your house and maybe you get to go outside for a little while. I'm not in the zoo, but I'm hearing lots of birds in my trees behind me and I saw some squirrels and bunnies in my yard earlier. <laughs> they're not zoo animals, but there's funny animals in my neighborhood too. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you back on Friday. Bye-bye.